After the Gandalians hijacked Bakugan Interspace and forced us out, things took a turn for the worse in the battle for Nithia. We decided to join Fabia as she returned home so we could help with the fight. Once we got there, we were made members of the Castle Knights. Now Earth and Nithia were united in the struggle to keep Barodius from stealing the Sacred Orb. Lucky for us, we have the most powerful Bakugan, Dragonoid Colossus, on our side. Now, Drago! Bakugan, roar! What are you gonna do? The odds are stacked against you. Back against the wall, you gotta give it your all. This is the final stand. The power's in your hands. Two worlds collide on the inside. You gotta fight for what's right before it's gone, gone, gone. This is back and gone. Hey! Ah, leave her alone! Huh? Oh, Rodeo! Yeah! Of all Bakugan. Bakugan Battle Brawlers in Destiny Revealed. Code Eve, huh? Yes, that is what she said. Why am I feeling so uneasy and on edge? It's strange, but I've had this feeling before. I am a life force inside the Sacred Orb. What? Does this mean the Sacred Orb is just a shell for the true power? In the beginning, there were two dragons, one of fire, one of darkness, Dragonoid and Darachnoid. And their DNA was comprised of genetic material from the most powerful living organism, the ultimate warrior. So Nurzak's ramblings were true. Quiet. Let her speak. Unfortunately, the powers of the original two were too strong and caused the dimension to split into two. The force of the separation caused some residual energy to scatter, which led to a different kind of creation. Isn't that... New Vestroia? The dimension in which Dragonoid lived quickly separated into six distinct attribute worlds. The dimension in which Darachnoid lived saw the creation of only two worlds. Of course. Nithia and Gundalia. In the millennia that followed, each dimension created their own origin legends as they built their respective histories. As more and more time passed, it seemed that the original two were destined to never meet again. That is, until Princess Fabia of Nithia sent out a distress call for help in fighting off Gundalian invaders, and the battle brawlers responded. This led to the eventual meeting of Draco and Dara, the two Bakugan who inherited the original Bakugan DNA. Because they both possessed the genes of the original Bakugan, I was instantly concerned. If they were to engage in battle, there was a strong possibility that they would split the dimension again, just like their ancestors had. This is why I continually intervened and attempted to keep them from battle. But then, the war between Gandalia and Nithia came to a head, and the forbidden power possessed by the Dark Bakugan was unleashed. It caused tremendous devastation and nearly destroyed Nithia. The simple fact is that Drago and Darak have both been endowed with the powers of the Ultimate Warrior, yet they exist on the opposite ends of the spectrum, just like Shadow and Light. I understand now that trying to keep them separated would be fighting the inevitable. That Drago and Darak should meet in battle is their destiny, just as it is your destiny, Dan and Barodius. Your fates are all inextricably linked. Seriously? Impossible! Battle Riders and their partner Bakugan are connected by a bond known as the Switch Code. While Bakugan can fight with any battlers, it is only their partners who hold the Switch Code that can maximize their potential. This is why, Dan, you hold the Switch Code for Drago, and Barodius, you hold that for Darak. Just as Drago and Darak were destined to battle, Dan and Barodius were destined to be their partners along the way. I always knew it. For generations, the Gondalian royal family has been aware of the bond between battlers and their Bakugan. Only we called it the Solidarity. Dan, I believe on Earth you would commonly refer to such a thing as friendship. Whatever it is, we're connected. Be that as it may, I cannot allow your collective destinies to endanger any more innocence. That is why I have decided that your final battle will be fought in the middle dimension, where no one else can get caught in the crossfire. This is the battle that will end the war between Cordelia and Nithia. Does everyone understand what I am telling you? 100%! Absolutely! <laughs> The 
the winner of this battle will take control of all, Bakugan. So make sure that you don't hold anything back. Game on, gentlemen. Okay, let's do this! Bakugan, draw! Bakugan, stand! This is for all the marbles! Pirate Blitz Dragon Eye! Bakugan, draw! Bakugan, stand! Roy, Dorcas, Phantom Dorai! Evil Vine! Darkness Shaker! Ready, Dan? Now, Drago! Do a Barna! Oh. Barna go buster! Is that the best you can do? Every shield! You haven't seen anything yet! Once we have control of the Bakugan, the entire universe will be at our feet! Your problem, Dad, is that you have no vision, no master plan. You just want to be a good guy. Which is why having command of all Bakugan is wasted on you. I, on the other hand, am a completely different story. A boy like you can never be king. Not ever! As long as I'm alive, you'll never take the power of the Sacred Orb! That's a lot of tough talk! Let's see if you can back it up, pal! Exodus Shaker! Fire Dragon! This isn't what we wanted. The life we wanted to live in the sunshine, this is not it. Not even close. Line out. I think I finally understand what I'm supposed to use my forbidden power for! Just 
destroy Arak! Oh, Drago! What's wrong with you, pal? Oh, I guess you got your bell rung pretty hard with that last shot. You must have scrambled something inside your head because you're fighting on pure instinct now. Drago! Playtime is over, Darak. Put Drago out of his misery. With pleasure. You can do it! Nice and easy! Wonderful! Why don't you take them both out with your next shot, Dorak? I could do this all day! Chaos Magnalia! Buddy! You really gotta wake up! Oh! Wake up! Drago! Drago! Uh, who's calling me? I'm so tired. I just want to sleep. Just a little while longer. Drago! Drago! Please, just a few more minutes. Drago! Oh, wait a minute! That's Dan! Let's hammer! What? That's impossible! Believe it, suckers! Dan! You had me scared for a minute! Sorry, but I'm back now, thanks to you. Ability activate! Let's superior! Stubborn children! Tempest Shield! Yeah! You will never take me! I just did three Bakugan Draw! Bakugan Stand! Thunder Gladiator! Photon Gladiator! Let's reflect them! Fire Dragon! You are one tough cookie, Drago! Fools! It's a little too soon to be congratulating yourselves! Hyper Guns and Let's go! Let's Superior! the power of the Sacred Orb from me! Bakugan, roll! Bakugan, stand! Castle Knight, fall back and protect Queen Serena! Have you no shame, Barodius? Can you not accept defeat in a dignified fashion? Be quiet, Garak. It is time we take what is ours. I couldn't agree more. Dan? I'm with ya! Bakugan, roll! Bakugan, stand! I can feel its mighty power filling me up inside! It's like Koki said him. You can't fight destiny. <laughs> What's happening? The power! It won't stop! It just keeps coming! I don't know if I can take any more! Congratulations, gentlemen. You were victorious in your battle against Barodius and Dara. Now, as promised, I will bestow my powers onto you. Use them wisely. May I present Titanium Dragonoid? You just evolved again! I know! I feel incredible! Now, you rule the entire Bakugan race. Wow, that's some responsibility. I never entered into this war to become a ruler. Neither did I. The brawlers have only ever wanted peace for our friends, the Bakugan. We don't need to rule them, you see. 
We just want to live in harmony beside them, just as all good friends should. I understand. Your decision is a noble one, and I respect it greatly. It's so hard to believe that the war is finally over, and that peace has once again returned to our homeland. But with so much devastation, it will be a while before things are back to normal. Nah, I bet things will get back on track. You're right, Dan. It makes me hopeful seeing everyone so happy again. Does this mean you're leaving? Well, we did finish what we came to do. Then, I guess this is farewell. I guess. Be cool, Ren. I will. Take care of yourself, Ren. Thanks again for everything. I'm sure we'll meet again, Leinhalt. Now that the royal family and its supporters have been defeated, I shall return to Gondalia to form a new government. One that will only have friendly relations with its neighboring planet. That is, if you will permit it, Queen Serena. Of course. I think this war has taught us all a valuable lesson about the importance of peace. Ren, now that I'm a castle knight, I would like to remain here on Nethia so that I may continue to serve. Hmm. I promise I'll take good care of him. Okay. Marucho, I'll never forget you, my friend. I won't forget you either, buddy. Take care. You too. And so I bid you all adieu, Battle Brawlers. Well, I guess that's our cue then, Aquamos. Yeah, sure looks like it. I, uh... I'm gonna miss you! You're the peanut butter to my jelly! Cool as a rule, dude! It was an honor to battle alongside a fine warrior like you, Hawktor. I learned a great deal in my time with you, Shun. Thank you for everything. I promised myself I wasn't gonna do this. Oh, man, I'm really gonna miss you, dude. Like, I never forget this first map you gone. Just promise me you won't forget me either, because that would bust me off inside. Oh! Okay, take it easy, I promise. You're a solid dude, Jake. Take care of yourself. Shall I send them off, princess? Yes, I'd appreciate that, Aranaut. Dan, thanks to you and the Brawlers, we have peace once again. Thank you for everything you've done for us. We are forever in your debt. No sweat, guys. That's what friends are for. I really miss Dan and the others. I wonder how they're doing. Yeah, uh, I know. I hope they're okay. He hasn't even called his own mother. Huh? But I guess I should be used to that. Oh my goodness! Where has the day gone? I have to get home and fix dinner. See you later, hun. Bye, Mrs. Kuso. Oh, I wonder what I should make. Hey, Mom! Huh? We're back! Daniel? <gasps> hey, guys! <laughs> Did you miss us? Mom, I'm home! Of course we did, but only a little. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen! The Bakugan battle between Dan Kuso and Koji Beetle will now commence! So you're the famous Dan Kuso, huh? I've always wanted to fight you, pal. Actually, we already have, buddy. He's not going to remember that. Huh? What did you say? I was just saying, uh, good luck! Bakugan Field, open! Uh, Bakugan 